Larry Mencher, Merchant, the uh, legendary commentator and uh, boxing analyst for HBO, and not only by HBO. The um, and there is uh, Devin Alexander versus uh, versus Timothy Bradley, but I want to ask you about something which will happen a little bit down the road. Tom Adamek versus uh, versus Vladimir or Vitali Klitschko. First of all, the, uh, you thoughts about the matchup, and would you ever believe the guy from the uh, light heavyweight division? will be able to be a, a challenger for the heavyweight title. Well, Daryl Cunningham takes the In the distant past, it was commonplace because heavyweights were not the super heavyweights they are today. Nowadays, it's unusual. And the question is whether the, the size difference is just uh, too much between the giant heavyweights of modern times and former light heavyweights. Uh, nobody ever won three titles in the three heaviest division. Nobody ever won light heavyweight, cruiserweight, and uh, heavyweight championship. Tom Agadamek uh, is saying that the speed versus power uh, makes this fight even. How, how would you say it? Uh, I'm sure you watched Tom Agadamek being the best cruiserweight champion and, and then fighting as a, as a light heavyweight. I've always liked Adamek from the first time I saw him as a light heavyweight. Uh, I think he's uh, a skillful, tough, smart fighter. Julian and Alan Moore. Particularly with uh, Vladimir Klitschko, um, the speed difference doesn't work because he, Vladimir, is not only a, a very big man, he's got quick hands and a wonderful jab. So I don't think that's really relevant. Um, but I don't dismiss Adamek, but he has not had a proven record as a heavyweight. It's true. So, uh, in your opinion, because, you know, one of those very weird contracts when Tom Agadamek doesn't actually know who he's going to fight, he will know 90 days before the actual fight, depending how the Klitschko brothers would, would fight versus their opponents. So, in your opinion, if Tom Agadamek will have a chance, uh, the, the bigger will be versus the older Vitali Klitschko than the Vladimir. I would guess Vitaly because Vitaly is at that age where you don't know where it's going to start to matter. But both Klitschko's have been so dedicated through their whole careers uh, in terms of staying in condition, not underestimating their opposition. That's why they've been able to stay on top for so long. So it's sort of hard to get them with their guard down, mentally or physically. And yet, we know or assume it's going to be a major event. Yep. And certainly the biggest or one of the biggest fights ever in Eastern Europe. And people will be anticipating it. Uh, you are, outside of being a well-known commentator, you're also a boxing historian. Uh, does it mean something? I mean, does it, it actually shows the state of the heavyweight division in 2011 that the guy who four years ago was a 175 fighter can be a legitimate contender in the heavyweight division? In a way, it does suggest something about the depth of quality of heavyweights. Um, and particularly with the absence of American heavyweights. Um, but all a fighter can do is fight the opponents who are out there. Uh, Joe Lewis fought a lot of second-rate opponents between his major opponents, waiting for a major challenger to emerge. Um, maybe Adam it turns out to be more of a major challenge than, than anybody knows because uh, however good they are, they're not going to win forever. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Mr. Merchant. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you.